Guys, 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 we got a 1981 science fiction film from the legend, John Carpenter, next. Hey everybody, welcome to Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick, this is the show where we talk about movies, music, television, all that good stuff, especially a lot of stuff in the pop culture era. And today I got a good one for you. We are doing Escape from New York. This is a uh, science fiction movie that came out in 1981. It was directed by John Carpenter and it stars Kurt Russell as Snake Plissken. This movie has had quite the cult following and it is another one of my guilty pleasures. I like a lot of things about this movie. In addition to Kurt Russell, this movie stars Lee Van Cleef, Donald Pleasance, Ernest Borgnine, Isaac Hayes, Adrian Barbeau, and Harry Dean Stanton. This film is set in the, at that time, near future of 1997. Wow, that doesn't sound good today. But in this near future world, the United States, which has converted Manhattan Island in New York City into the country's maximum security prison that's right one big city is the prison now in the movie Air Force One the president's plane is hijacked by insurgents and is deliberately crashed in New York City and ex-soldier and current federal prisoner Snake Plissken is given 24 hours to go in and rescue the president of the United States after which, if successful, Snake will be pardoned. One catch though, if he fails to get it done within that 24 hour period, a micro implant bomb will go off in his neck. No pressure. Fun fact, John Carpenter wrote the film in the mid 1970s in reaction to the Watergate scandal. After the success of Halloween in 1978, he had enough influence to begin production and filmed it mainly in St. Louis, Missouri on an estimated budget of $6 million. The film was released in July of 1981 and it received fairly positive reviews from critics and was a commercial success. It grossed $25 million at the box office. Wonder what that would be when we adjust for inflation. As I mentioned, the film became a cult classic and it was followed by a sequel, Escape from L.A. in 1996, which was also written and directed by Carpenter and starred Kurt Russell. That one, not so much, guys. But Escape from New York, damn good movie. Another fun fact, Kurt Russell really wanted to play Snake Plissken badly because he wanted to overcome his quote-unquote lightweight screen image which uh, was conveyed by his roles in several Disney comedies. All right, another fun fact, because this was shot on a shoestring budget, Carpenter really wanted something that resembled an old, worn out, futuristic New York City. The two problems with that was, it would have been way too expensive to film it in New York and create sets and it wouldn't look right on a backdrop. And because of the backdrop problem and not being able to film in New York City, producers went around other locations to see what they could find and they settled on East St. Louis, Missouri. At the time, East St. Louis was filled with old buildings that look like they would exist in New York now and that have that seedy rundown quality. And that's what they were looking for. Okay, so as far as the DVD release of Escape from New York, it was released twice by MGM. And the first time, it was a bare bones edition that contained just the theatrical trailer. Another version is the collector's edition. It's a two disc set that features a high definition remastered transfer with a 5.1 stereo track. It has two commentaries, one by John Carpenter and Kurt Russell, and another by producer Deborah Hill and Joe Alves. 
It also has a making of featurette, the first issue of a comic book series titled John Carpenter's Snake Plissken Chronicles, and the 10 minute Colorado bank robbery deleted opening sequence. MGM special edition of the 1981 film was not released until 2003 because the original negative had gone missing. The work print containing deleted scenes finally turned up in the Hutchinson, Kansas salt mine film depository. And these scenes feature Snake Plissken robbing a bank, introducing the character of Plissken and establishing a backstory. Carpenter decided to add the original scenes into the special edition release as an extra only. Now, in August of 2010, MGM Home Entertainment released the movie as a bare bones Blu ray. Scream Factory, in association with Shout Factory, released the film on a special edition Blu ray in April of 2015. Now, if you're going to call this a B movie, this is one of the best damn B movies that you can find out there. If you like that bleak, futuristic, CD rundown kind of feel, this is that movie for you. Like I said before, this is uh, another one on my list of guilty pleasures. I really, really enjoyed Escape from New York. And if you haven't seen this movie, find it, check it out. You won't be disappointed. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see or hear in the future. As always, stay positive, stay blessed. I will see you again.